Next, I'd like to demonstrate some open pipes. Uh, here I have what we might call a whirly tube, uh, so named because when I whirl it around, uh, air is going to go through it, set up vibrations, and it will set up a, an anti-node at either end with a node in the center. Fundamental frequency. Notice we're starting to pick up a higher harmonic. If I spin it faster, we get that higher harmonic, and faster still, higher harmonics. With faster air, higher frequency, higher pitch, shorter wavelength. Now, this one is shorter to start with, and therefore its fundamental frequency should be shorter wavelength and higher pitch and higher frequency. Let's see how they compare. Short length pipe, longer length. Longer is a lower pitch, lower frequency, and a longer wavelength. The shorter one, higher pitch, and it also, of course, has higher harmonics. Now, another example would be this uh, Alpenhorn that we've constructed out of some PVC pipe. I have a trombone mouthpiece on this, and this, is, uh, this represents a wind instrument, such as a tuba, or a trumpet, or a trombone, or one of those type, types of wind instruments, although this has no keys on it, and so it's just a single length. So if we're going to get different uh, pitches from it, we need to have different vibrations go into it from the mouthpiece, and so I'll try to set up different frequencies of vibration and see if we can get a series of different uh, harmonics all with the same basic length uh, pipe. Try that and see what it sounds like. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good. Let's try a higher frequency. And higher frequency still, if I can pull it off. Alpenhorn. <laughs>